Rab George Patrick Lewin and I'm from Australia and Scotland and I'm attempting to be a photographer. Um, I, I studied it very briefly within one, just one year as a media course in Scotland and then I've just been really independent since then, self-taught and I suppose the most exciting period I suppose was the period I had in Europe between 1990 and 96 so that was Spain and Berlin. I think I'd been, I, I know this sounds quite negative, but I got used to not being paid in a lot of areas. Um, also what the, the copyright infringement alerted me to was also the, going back to the library, the archive I do with this company that I'd signed with, so I wasn't getting, really getting any money from them. And I also, through CopyTrack, I also saw how, how far the photographs have gone. I mean, with, with the infringement, and non-infringement as well, because I also discovered that I'd been in so many major newspapers and every, you know British newspapers, and also never got any money for it. I mean, that's there's, a, there's, a, there's also a separate story to that, but but the copy track thing definitely alerted me to a, a, a much bigger picture in many ways. Hang them by the balls. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah. Um, well, you did. I mean, you did all the certainly. Copy track did all the work, but I mean, it was it was actually. I mean, the two the two infringements that we did find, I actually, I actually found them manually, which was which was kind of interesting. I think it was also because I was in because I was with Martina in, here in Europe, and so with the the Google search, I don't I don't think I would have actually found those images. But I I actually literally just sat there just googling and googling, you know, Rab. Lou and Nirvana, Rab, Lou and Nirvana, you know, until it really all came up and then we were able to go legal, illegal, legal, illegal. I, I think more to, more to signing in, yeah, no, when I signed in with CopyTrack, certainly. I think also is what's quite funny is also seeing the images, how the images have been broadly, other images that I've loaded um, into my collections and, and found out to see how just other where in other areas they are being used. I mean, there's nothing that we can do about that, but it is actually very interesting to see how, how randomly the, the, the images will be grabbed, you know. <laughs> A friend told me, yeah. No, I just thought it was handled extremely well, and it was, you know, all... Every email was answered, and I mean, the fact that I was able to call you, and you know, because I was confused about a lot of areas. You know, there was the 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 buzz the buzz the BuzzFeed infringement. I actually thought didn't actually exist. And at one point, I actually said to Uta, you know, just I'll, I'll just forget BuzzFeed, and she was like, "Why?" <laughs> so no, I think I, I'm really no, I'm really impressed, and it's you know, I'm really impressed in the way that it was handled, and it's done a lot for me. Um, and there's, but there are still things that I have to, not so necessarily with infringement, but I'm, I'm also now stuck with this particular photo archive um, who I'm just furious, I, and, I, and I don't know how to, legally, I don't know how to actually get away from them. The only thing is I know that they cannot use the Nirvana images. I've already made sure that, that Getty and, and, and Rex Shutterstock, I made them remove all those Nirvana images, but those Avalon, Photoshop, we can still go to their website and they're still sitting on my images, but they can't use them. I think CopyTrack certainly makes it a lot, a lot, lot, lot easier. I, I mean, I can really relax, I can relax, I can kind of relax now, you know, that knowing that, you know, I can feed everything into the collection and I know that it will, all, it will just all come up. So I actually, I actually think it's very important. When you give me more bandwidth, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're just, I, I, I'm, we're just, I mean, I'm doing, we're working on, what we're just working on just now is just, we've, got, we've just done, Martina's just built my website and that was launched two days ago. So that's quite remarkable as well, it's taken this long. 
And then, and then just for what I'm working on now, which is just using this old timer Schrott junk car idea, which is, I'm just mildly obsessed by. And, and then there's going to be, later on in the year, there's going to be a book coming out. So Nothing exciting like Nirvana anymore. Okay, cool, yeah, thank you very much for the trip.